friends uh, this is Alex from Stow Hub I'm doing this video um, because a friend of mine Darkwinder asked me to um, let you guys know how fast we can actually get our 8000 dilithium uh, per tune get our cap going um, first thing we do is we collect yesterday's prizes do our kit modules and our schools and make sure you're leveling up those schools to go at least to 15 after that uh, well you can either start crafting or do whatever you feel like with the schools but the important thing is here we're actually going to collect yesterday's uh, turnover contraband um, and get 2000 dilithium which we just got and we're going to start out with these first 2000 dilithium um, for our 8,000 lithium count, and we're going to put talk to the security officer in her space dock or in Kronos, and turn over contraband again. So tomorrow we're going to have another 2,000 dilithium waiting for us when the 20 hours are are done. So now we have in progress a 2,000 dilithium mission, um, which will be done in 20 hours. Okay, so that's step one. That's we're a quarter way there, and we've only been at this for 30 seconds. Beaming up to my ship. I'm actually going to spice it up a bit because um, most of you are going to need to be getting marks of several different types so we want to make sure you get the most important ones first which are the Iconians so we're going to talk in um, subcoms which is the ground channel and see if there is any botsy going on botsy is brotherhood of the sword advance it's a ground mission that gives you iconian marks uh, it's quite fast and um, quite simple once you understand the mission doesn't require much skill it does require timing with a team in the meantime we can start queuing ourselves up for a crystalline catastrophe advanced this one and we're going to do this because uh, we want to get you some fleet marks as well so you guys can uh, donate them to projects and start getting fleet gear which is also very important for you guys so while we let the people here in, uh, in the subcom channel know that we're interested in a botsy we'll wait for it to queue and in the meantime as well start trying to find the Borg Red Alert and the Tholian Red Alert which are very fast and simple missions to start uh, getting our stuff done here we go crystalline is done we're gonna set up our parser so we can parse our run logging combat on Get at this. damage and just makes it nicer to shoot at. And turn a little so you can broadside with the back as well. Don't we love temporal ability so we actually don't die. We jump back eight kilometers but we still can get a little 
thing going here. for actually get us done here first place so that's good we can take our daily fleet marks except we're gonna get some 720 dilithium extra and um, we can respawn take the gear and leave the map Just in case you guys are interested. The parse for this was... Let's see what it was. Crystalline Catastrophe. LLA 4.4 4 million 63k on that run so that was a nice little run um, for us and we got 720 dilithium we can start jumping into the board with alerts still haven't gotten any people interested in the botsy for the Iconian marks Joining the board queue. Uh, turning off the parser because this one can't be parsed. Engaging. turning, twisting, and grabbing this first group right here. Let everybody else deal with their own. One now, right here, behind this, we have a little group of spheres. It is also important that you actually know the map, so it makes it a little bit simpler to play the play the game. two groups while everybody else gets two groups by themselves. This ship is really not configured to be able to shield itself. It uh, counts on energy frequency to refrequence its, uh, its powers. What that means is that it's actually the more damage you do, the faster you heal. The more damage you do, the more you heal. Here we got the ship. We'll start cranking up our big powers, the big guns. Our defensive capabilities are unable to withstand us. Let them rip. Lower your shields and await assimilation. Be done with it. We got 
take the Omega Marks, which gives you 960 uh, dilithium. And in this case, we're currently doing Lucari Reputation, so I'll take the Lucari Marks, which are bugged because it only gives you 56, but it gives you another 480 dilithium. So with this run, we exit the sector. And as you can see, we're already up to 4,160 dilithium. Next, we're going to queue up for a Tholian Red Alert. Joining the Tholian Red Alert. And while we're waiting, which usually queues fast, you know, we are actually doing the ship mastery. And um, we're almost up to, we just did level four and we're halfway through level five. And um, this is a good way to actually get ship masteries. So I like going counterclockwise. Why? Just because here we have uh, the Tholians fighting the Borg and uh, they shoot each other while you shoot them, which is a little bit uh, better than taking all the damage by yourself. Okay, we got one of these big ships with us. We're gonna target them. And we're gonna let our big guns rip. group and good to go going to choose some other marks we haven't chosen. Um, we took Omega and we took uh, the Lucari last run. So this run we could take Nakura, but Nakura I'd rather take him in, in a second run of, of um, 
crystalline catastrophe we get a chance so I'm going to take um, Terran marks for this because I'm, I'm going to need some Terran gear so we got 65 Terran marks with the daily bonus and another 480 dilithium we're up to 4600 dilithium at this point you can actually open up your reputations and start trading in some of the dilithium you just made for example that Terran dilithium we just uh, bought we can actually um, trade in um, we got 65 marks we can trade in 50 marks for 500 dilithium so you can do your double dipping if you don't need the marks and that's an easy way to get them uh, Nakura fleet marks and whatever else you're getting you can also trade it in uh, I'm only going to show you how to trade in the ones we just got which were the Nakura and we also got Omega so that's another thousand marks a uh, thousand still there when you actually turn in the marks and we're only turning 50 because we got 65 so I'm not turning in the Lucari because uh, I'm going to need uh, Lucari marks to actually do my reputation Lucari reputation once I get the sponsorship token from my other tunes so in this case um, my Lucari reputation is uh, not even started is at tier zero because I'm waiting for the sponsorship token for my other tune so it cost me half the marks but in any case here we are already up to 5640 dilithium and now we're gonna have to see what else we can grab for the queue Let's see if there's a Defendrio Station Elite. Nobody on. So let's try to get one going. Create a private instance. Brotherhood of Sword Elite. Create a lobby and Looking for four more. Botsy. I'm gonna go in the subcoms, 10k and 30k. Let's see who bites. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to show you more or less what you actually need for um, gear on any ship. And it is basically the science consoles from the um, embassy, science weapon signature nullifiers. And you need the tactical consoles from the, um, for whatever weapons uh, energy type you're using, from the spire. And for the engineers, you basically, if you have a timeline stabilizer and a plasmonic leech, you want to use those, plus one of the extra consoles you get from a set or from something you, uh, you're you actually interested in using. Okay, so we got our first bite here. So, Brotherhood of the Sword. We got another one, Jimbo, and bite the challenge match. That is three. So let's go with uh, piping people with two more botsy on the 30k. Twenty K and subcoms. We got our fourth. need one more so we're just gonna be waiting a little bit here till we get this done
and magical samurai we we got a good group going um, Batsi full thank you so we gotta let people know that they're actually done so they don't keep asking for invites and be courteous which is very important and that's three R's, four R's and let's wait for the fifth one most people will start it right now but you know we tend to try to be courteous and wait for the last guy to be done and once you see five R's you click it all these guys have run these mission before so there was no queuing time download the whole game guys it's just a good option for everybody not having to waste loading time that's another way to be courteous to people okay now we're gonna buff ourselves here we go with a gambling device Oops, I lost, so 30 seconds, I'm going to try that in ground again. Switch to team chat. and hopefully that will nope lost again well that's not gonna be good you have 15 seconds to disable the other two Iconian devices simultaneously time again with a gambling device wow that's unheard of but hey so wait here for a second one more time there we go we won so now let's go shoot so These guys I'm running from from subcoms, they're the elite ground guys, so basically by the time I'm going they're already coming, so they're just at another level. They can clear the map usually by with three of themselves only. all about timing this mission you need to kill the map first and then uh, deactivate do the optionals which are required they're not optional see okay somebody with two people are already there so took the uh, the syndicate operative 
once we see that significant operative is there and is safe, we can. There we go. Going to deactivate the technology. You have 15 seconds to disable the other two Iconian and devices take care of simultaneously. The heralds are activating a new set of devices. He's got a good we team, like I said. So that's why it's actually important to be. in the correct channels and know the correct people that way your STO STFs will actually run real really good real really fast I'm getting a little bit of sluggish behavior on my machine because I'm actually recording in um, full HD and that kind of tends to slow my, my machine especially when there's a lot of fighting a lot of things going around so bear with me in that sense Stop it before it can break into the Great Hall. Sort of leap. The heralds are driven back for now, but they shall certainly yeah, return. Yeah. Chancellor Thanks. Jim Park remains secured the great hall. We continue. We're going to take the Iconian marks, which is the ones we need. We got 130 Iconian marks, two Iconian probes, data cores, which and an elite R&D, which we're going to actually need. Okay, so. Got some more dilithium as well. Now, our dilithium count is up to 7,000 and 80, and we can just ask. Um, they're doing ISA. We can jump into that as well, or we can try to get another type of thing going on. Uh, but basically, we also got 130 marks, so we can trade out of those 130 marks and do a magical samurai here um, you know, do an ISA with them we can parse that as well so that will be nice we're going to turn on our parser and log it we are also going to Oh, out of those Iconian marks, we're actually going to turn in since we actually got the marks. Um, we're going to go to the Iconian reputation. Right, Iconian resistance, here we go. And turn out of those 130 marks we got, we're going to turn in 50 of them. Yep, to get another 500 dilithium. And if we turn in the Lucari reputation, which I'm keeping right now, we can actually go to the Lucari and turn in the Lucari for the exact same thing. Uh, 50 Lucari marks right here. And we can trade it in for 500 dilithium. We would have our uh, our 8,000 lithiums and be done and it is 2 hours and 33 minutes but we're not going to do that because I need those Lucari marks so we're going to get those 500 marks by doing another STF in the case you need to, you know at the beginning you're going to have to run more STFs than you actually need to so you can keep some of the marks uh, once you actually your mark uh, your marks are really high up you can turn all those marks in and actually not have to play a day or something for example, I could go into my marks right now and trade in, for example, Delta Marks, Undyne, Dyson. You know, for example, I could do my Dyson that I'm not using. I already bought all Dyson Gear Romulan Marks, 
man, I could turn all these Romulan marks into whatever I need um, just by going to the uh, my reputation and going to the Romulan, Romulus, and trading them all in. Which would be here, you know. Ongoing diplomatic efforts, which would take 500 Romulan marks and trade it for 5,000. Okay, and ready on this. So I'm closing it up. And guys, this is going to be a nice little show for you. We got Magical Samurai and Spencer. So we have two of the biggest hitters here in the game. Okay, so this is going to be a very, very, very fast and good run. You usually get one run like Magical Samurai, but you have Magical Samurai and we have... Uh, sob as well, so we're in for a treat. We're not going to jump in or anything. We're going to give them some time to spin up. They're waiting for pets. They're going to do some maneuvering. I'm going to give my R because I'm ready. Let's see why it's not giving me the R. They're going to get a countdown. Going three, two, one. Go. One. We have the bulk. gate open here. Come on. You will lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. I have this weird feeling I'm gonna get a penalty today, but hey that's alright. And that was it. We're gonna get some more Omega Marks and 720 Dilithium more. Plus some more uh, Borg marks, Omega marks, which can also train to for dilithium. So I did 42k here with um, these guys. Did really, really 175,000, 147,000, 111,000. And I did a 42,000, and this other guy did 16k. Um, <laughs> that was a really good run. So uh, let's thank him and leave the map. And 
it wasn't a really good showing for me because uh, you know I was recording and the screen kind of froze up a little bit on me but uh, you get the deal with these guys uh, I was lucky to get 40k so um, we're up to 8,300 dilithium which is more than our daily refinement we can click it and we still have 300 left for tomorrow to refine we used some of our marks we got some more Omega marks that we needed we got Lucari marks which we're gonna need and we got more Iconian marks which we're also gonna need for our things and it's 239 right now so it didn't take too much of the time and we got a lot accomplished a lot of marks a lot of uh, dilithium and um, interesting game very good uh, recording as far as I'm concerned because uh, uh, we did show you a little botsy it got uh, filled up real fast and like I said seeing these guys do that type of damage and you know run an ISA that fast is just uh, it's a it's, it's breathtaking in some cases it really is so I uh, hope you enjoyed it this is Alex from Stow Hub and uh, hope to see you next time Thank <laughs> you.